Today I'm making fresh salsa. You need five pounds of tomatoes, four pounds of mild green chilies, two to six hot chilies, one and a half cups chopped Spanish onion, one and a half cups chopped green pepper, one cup chopped red pepper, three cloves of garlic, one cup of white vinegar, three tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of pickling salt, two tablespoons of paprika, three tablespoons of finely chopped fresh cilantro. You'll put those in after. You put all these ingredients together. You let them, uh, except for the, yeah, you put them all together. Except for the hot chilies, you just want to po poke them with a toothpick and just take them out after, leave them in, whatever you want. And you put it all in, bring it to a boil, set the timer for one hour, let it simmer for one hour, stirring occasionally. Then you want to add the cilantro for another half hour. Then you cook all that up. When you're done, you just want to do your typical canning process. Except you want to put these cans, these jars, into the hot water for 20 minutes. Okay, now what you want to do is place your tomatoes in hot to just boiling water. Boiling to hot water. This way it's going to make the skin peel. So this is what I do. I wait till it just cracks, and then once it cracks, I'll put this into cold water, peel them, cut them in half, get the seeds out. There you go. Not even like not even a minute, and they're already peeled and cracked. Just put them in the sink with cold water, and then go from there. Here's the simple part. All you need to do is just grab on the tomatoes. You can see the skin's already partially off. And just peel it. Boom. Done. There's no skinning or peeling. You just peel it like so. And there's a little piece right there. You don't need that. Cut it off. Get rid of it. This core, just take your knife around like this. No big deal. Cut it off. Get rid of it. gotta be more pers persuasive with it. Done. Now, all you need to do is cut her in half. Your Roma tomatoes will have two chambers on each side, this will have three. So what you do, is you use your thumb and get the seeds out. Use your thumb, get the seeds out. But there's still more in there. So you just open her right up and just get the seeds out. Obviously you're going to have to chop this up in smaller pieces, so that's all I do, I just get seeds out. You don't have to be picky, you can have some seeds, who cares, right? Everybody here eats tomato sandwiches, so just chopping up these tomatoes. Not to be too picky, not to be too small, just chop them up. You don't want to have like half a tomato on a chip, do you? Just go, 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 get her done. And then you chop up the green peppers, a cup and a half per batch. And this batch is a double batch, so we're doing three cups green peppers. And then you put a cup of red chopped peppers in, and you're good to go. A cup is one batch. There you go. And the next step is to take the jalapenos, cut them in half, take the seeds out, cut them up, and throw them in. There is is it six jalapenos in each batch? Four. There's four jalapenos in each batch. And then we use the slap chop to chop these buggers up. And now, all you gotta do is chop up some onions. You need three cups for a double batch, so a single batch calls for one and a half cups. There you go. The next step is garlic. Three big cloves in each batch. Then your next step is to add tomato paste. We like to use Hunt's tomato paste. One can per batch. The can is 5.5 ounces or 156 milliliters. 
Now you want two teaspoons of paprika per batch. Then you add a cup of white vinegar per batch. Then you add a tablespoon of pickling salt per batch. And then you add three tablespoons of sugar per batch. Now you want to take each chili pepper and slice it down the middle just to open it up. If you're really crazy and you really like stuff really spicy to the point you can't taste it and you're not enjoying your food, chop that stuff in little pieces. Now that's the boil I'm talking about. Once you get there, you can turn it down and let that thing simmer for one hour. Now we rinse off the cilantro and we get her ready. Now we chop this up in about 13 minutes we'll put it in our salsa. That's the last ingredient and it'll cook for another half hour. Alright, that one hour is up. Now it's time to add the cilantro to the mix. And the best part happens when I add cilantro. I mix it in and then I gotta taste it and see how spicy it is. This is where I gotta pick and choose how long I keep them chili peppers in here for. Now the hour and a half's up. I got the lids boiling. And I'm now I'm pulling out the hot chili peppers. If you really like it really spicy, you can leave these inside your salsa. I have the jars cooking at uh, 250 Fahrenheit in the oven. That way they're ensured to be clean. And then just like any other situation when you preserve food, you fill the bottles right up to the top. Oh, a centimeter from the top, otherwise you'll blow the lids as it cools down and the air somehow gets pushed out and it forms its own vacuum. Just keep on going, going, going. So you get right about there. Let's try just a little bit more. That there should be perfect. Probably put a spoonful in there. Now you take your magnet, grab your lid, I got clean hands, don't worry about it, and you seal her. My final step is a 20 minute boiling hot water bath. There you go, you set the time for 20 minutes, come back, pull them out. Lids will pop, they're sealed, they're good to go. If they don't pop, you eat it right away. Now here's the final part. Take the lid off and... And pull these out. Kids have a meltdown. It's normal. You just take the jars and bring them into their house and let them do their own thing.